Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the simultaneous linear differential equations with the constant coefficients. The two equations are given and the conditions are given to find the value of the constants. Let's write the first equation. The first term is dx, capital dx plus y equal to sin t. And second equation is x plus capital dy equal to cos t. Now we have to eliminate either x or y. For eliminating x, we have to make the same coefficient. This is dx and here it is only x. So we will write the first equation as it is. But second equation, I am going to multiply by d on both the sides. So first equation is dx plus y equal to sin t. And multiplying this with d, we get dx. And this will become d square y equal to d into cos t. Differentiation of cos t. Now, we are going to subtract. So, we have to change the sign of all the second terms. After this, we see this is dx and this is minus dx. We can cancel. And from here, the first term is y. Then minus d square y equal to, we have sin t minus differentiation of cos t is minus sin t. So, we keep that in a separate bracket. Now, this we will rearrange as minus d square y plus y equal to, this will become plus. So, 2 sin t. Now, we will take y common. So, it will become minus d square plus 1 into y equal to 2 sin t. And I have to take minus sin common so that the first term is positive. d square minus 1 into y equal to 2 sin t. And the minus sin will come as a division on the other side. So, it will become d square minus 1 into y equal to minus 2 sin t. Now for solving this, we have to write the auxiliary equation where it is m square minus 1 equal to 0. From this, m square is equal to 1. So, m is equal to plus or minus 1. So, we got two values for m. One is 1, other is minus 1. So, complementary function is nothing but c1 e power m1. So m1 is 1, so t. Then plus c2 e power m2 which is minus 1, so minus t. We have to write in terms of t because it is given dx by dt and dy by dt. So we completed the complementary function. Now coming to the particular integral, the other side of the equation has minus 2 sin t. So minus 2 sin t whole divided by, we have to write the quadratic expression, which is d square minus 1. So, d square minus 1. As per the procedure, we have to substitute d square as 1 square with minus sign outside. Here, the value of the coefficient of t is 1. So, we have to substitute for d square like this. So, to become minus 2 sin t divided by d square minus 1 square minus 1. So, we get minus 2 sin t divided by, this is minus 1 minus 1, so minus 2, we can cancel these two. So, we left with only sin t. Then, complete solution, y is cf plus pi. So, y is equal to c1 e power t plus c2 e power minus t then plus sin t. So we got one part of the solution that is y. Now I have to get the another part of the solution that is x. Now we have y so we have to check which equation we have to use. So we have to get x. So I have to take this equation and we have to substitute dy by dt. So let's copy the second equation x plus dy by dt x plus 
dy by dt equal to and other side is cos t so equal to cos t this is the second equation now we need x so x equal to this dy by dt i take to the other side so minus dy by dt plus cos t we have to differentiate this y and we have to write it here with a minus sign outside so minus bracket open c1 e power t derivative c1 e power t only and c2 e power minus t is minus c2 e power minus t because of change rule there will be minus and sin t differentiation is cos t and at the end we have one more cos t now i have to take the minus sign inside so x equal to minus c1 e power t plus c2 e power minus t and minus cos t and plus cos t finally both the term will get cancel after cancelling minus cos t and plus cos t we left with x equal to the first term is minus c1 e power t plus c2 e power minus t so we got the another part of the solution now they have given a condition to find the c1 c2 values so the condition is here x is 2 y is 0 when t is 2 when, sorry when t is 0 when t is 0 x is 2 so let's try that when t is 0 x is 2 so this condition i'm going to use it for the equation x so now 2 equal to when i put 0 e power 0 is 1 so we left with only minus c1 and here e power minus 0 that is also 1 so we left with c2 so let's keep this equation as it is and let's take the another condition when t is 0 y is 0 so here when t is 0 we have y is 0 this we have to use it in the solution y so 0 equal to on the other side both e power t will become 1 so we left with c1 plus c2 so c1 plus c2 and last time sin t when t is 0 that is also 0 so we got two equations so this and this i'm going to add so this equation is minus c1 plus c2 equal to 2 and the next one is c1 plus c2 equal to 0 and i add both these two gets cancelled 2c2 equal to 2 from this c2 value is 1 when c2 is 1 if i substitute in any equation let's take the second equation so 0 is equal to c1 plus 1 from this c1 is minus 1 so we got both the constant values that is c1 is minus 1 and c2 is 1 this we have to substitute in both the solution let's take the solution x so in the solution x c1 c1 is minus 1 already minus c1 so it will become just e power t the first term is e power t and second term is plus c2 c2 is 1 so plus e power minus t in the same way let's take the solution y c1 c2 we have to substitute c1 is minus 1 c2 is plus 1 so minus e power t plus e power minus t so y equal to minus e power t plus e power minus t i substituted c1 and c2 then we have sin t at the end so that will become plus sin t so we got both the solution since the solution is in terms of t it is also better instead of giving x we can say it is x of t similarly this is y of t so we got the solutions for the given simultaneous equation